The next thing we want to show you is how attachments work in Wave. So we've been on a boat trip. It was very nice, thank you. And we all got pictures. I have six of them sitting here on my desktop. And I'm going to drag them onto the Wave like this. You, you might not have noticed, but the thumbnails appeared on my screen long before the full images were uploaded from Lars's computer. I'll show you that again by dragging in my own photos from iPhoto. Ready? Here we go. And you see them show up over on my screen. When Lars dropped in his images, you might have noticed at the bottom of the wave panel there's an image menu with actions you'd probably do on images like upload or download. What's important is these actions apply to all the images in the wave, not just the ones I dropped in which makes Wave a really an easy, lightweight way to create a group photo album together, which is surprisingly hard to do with today's tools. It's not clear that we want everyone to know that we went shopping together. And so one of the features down here lets me copy just the images from this Wave into a fresh Wave. Boating in January, enjoy all, here and yonder. And then I'll add Stephanie to this. I could now share that with the rest of the office. So, as I was saying, the <laughs> blog. Um, so in the blog, one of the cool things you'll see, you can see is that we're not just embedding the images. We're actually embedding the whole wave with all of its UI. This means that I can respond, hey, that looks fun. Why wasn't I invited? And so now I can see, obviously, uh, Greg's question from inside my Wave client. I can answer it from in here. I don't have to go to the blog site to do that. I could if I wanted to. But I can say here, um, I lost the phone with your number. I really, truly can't <laughs> spell. Here we go. So one of the things you just saw is that I happened to be online when Lars was online, and I saw his response coming in live on his blog. That's not always going to be the case. Since I responded to this blog, it'll show up in my Wave client right after I refresh my Wave client. Um, it will show up in my Wave client, and I can continue the conversation in there. But Lars, I live next door. <laughs> and, um, and then we can, that response shows up on the blog, we can continue the conversation from there, and anyone else can join in that conversation. We invited some of our colleagues from Brazil and India to Sydney, who work on one of our social networks called Orkut. We wanted to build a demo of what it could look like to put waves inside of Orkut. It demonstrates three important principles or features of our embed API. So here's my Orkut account, and you can see there's a wave panel in the middle. And the first thing is I can create a wave on Orkut. So I'm starting a new wave, and I'll say Brazil trip. Wonder when Lars will let me go. The second important feature is that you can use contacts other than your wave contacts. In this case, the authors of the site chose to use the Orkut contacts, so I can add some of my Orkut friends, like Sid, Torsten, and Rodrigo, who all helped build this demo. The third principle is that I can embed a search panel inside of Orkut using the Embed API. I'll show you that now. I can search for all my waves from Yoon. And so on, and look at them. So that's waves embedded in Orkut. What's important is that our Embed API is powerful enough for you to be able build your own wave client. In this case, the Orkut team chose to focus on waves created inside of Orkut but just like in the blog example, I can go back to my Wave client, and I can see the Wave I started there. Wonder when Lars will let me go to Brazil. So that's the Embed API. OK, so the next thing I want to show is, of course, you are going to want um, Waves on your mobile devices. And I have an Android and an iPhone here. And I was going to show you how well it works communicating from mobile devices to the desktop, but you guys are all on Facebook, aren't you? Because I can't get on the wireless. OK, so you can see my inbox over here. This is on the Android device. Here's an open, uh, the same open wave we saw before. You see the pretty picture is here. And then I can click the Reply button like this. And you will see over on Stephanie's screen, which I can't see, 
you will see a reply, imagine I was actually on a network, and then I could type in, I am on the boat, done. Notice again my spelling, and nothing is going to show up over there because we haven't yet figured out squeezing this through without a connection. Maybe we'll show you that. <laughs> <laughs> As long as it's your fault that it's yes. not working. We are, <laughs> I we, just are, want to screw up we are working on it. OK, so that's mobile. Now I notice that some of the captions are kind of wonky. And all I have to do is click this edit button here, and then I can fix that. Kayaks, beer man. And thank you. Oh, and I'm as you notice, the captions are updating on the blog. Yes, hopefully you saw that the captions were actually updating live on the blog as I was typing. 